I'm checking now with Way 31 meteorologist Carson Meredith. He has a breakdown on lake effect snow and why we saw it here in North Alabama with this system. Carson. Yeah, that's right, guys. It's not all that common that we're talking about lake effect snow in North Alabama, but like we just mentioned, this is the second time this season that we've seen at least some lake effect snow here in our neck of the woods. Let's kind of break down exactly how lake effect snow forms, and it has to do with the cold air rushing over basically a warm body of water. Where you see these arrows right here, that's indicating the those winds coming out of the north and northwest, and that's a big reason why those temperatures didn't get out of the teens today. Where you see that blue circle, that's right around where Wheeler Lake is, and that's where that interaction between that cold air and that warm water started to take place. So when that cold wind, when that wind direction is parallel to the body of water, just like it was today near Wheeler Lake, that's where you have some sort of interaction with that warm water being ingested into that cold air. Start to have some clouds develop, and if there's enough moisture around, that's where you start to have some snow develop, especially downwind from that body of water, in this case, Lake Wheeler. Now, we're looping our early warning radar network site in Decatur here. This starts about 9 o'clock this morning through around 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can see that nice strip of lake effect snow in far southern Limestone County, really right along the Tennessee River, and it kind of tried to sag its way southward right over downtown Decatur. And even so, we're still tracking a few of those light flurries, all thanks to that lake effect snow as we went through much of the day today and even to this afternoon, too. Not much in the way of impacts, but you might have seen an additional inch, maybe two inches of snow in some spots earlier today. Why is the snow today so dry? That has to do with how much moisture is in that cold air. Basically, the colder the temperatures are, the less moisture you have to work with for that snow to develop. That's why that snow today has been really dry, kind of powdery, as opposed to that wet snow that really sticks to the ground. And again, at most, maybe a light dusting on some of those secondary roads, but all in all, those roads across North Alabama should be in good shape as these flurries continue to move through. Naja.